What's going on everybody, it's JRPG Enthusiast here, Shadow Elite, back again with another video. Alrighty guys, so uh, Final Fantasy XII HD Remaster has finally been announced. I have been waiting for this for a very long time. I have been trying to play Final Fantasy XII again, just pretty much on my PC, but I can never get it to run properly. I mean, I could get it to run properly, but then it will just end up spazzing out the graphics will sometimes tear or distort the frame rate will just dip for no reason and it just it just wasn't an ideal way to play the game again even though it looked, it looked great in um the upscaled um hd that you know emulator that an emulator offered but it's not enough you know it's just it's just not enough thank god square enix finally said oh we have to uh, finally bring out Final Fantasy XII HD Remaster. Now, Square Enix, seriously, get on that Crisis Core HD Remaster. When Final Fantasy VII, VII rem Remake comes out, seriously, get on that Crisis Core Remaster. Or or do it in the episode that uh, that Zack is going to be in. I, you know what? I'm betting that right now. I bet the next episode of um, Final Fantasy... Not the next episode. The next part of Final Fantasy VII Remake... In between, you're gonna see the Crisis Core HD remaster. I guarantee that. You know, you know it's in Square Enix back pocket, back, back, uh, back pocket. You know, you know. So, anyway, let's get back to Final Fantasy XII. Final Fantasy XII was an interesting, uh, was an interesting RPG for me because, honestly, like many of you, I did not like it at first. I was there for when it first released. I was like. I was anticipating its release, and I was like, oh man, the next Final Fantasy is coming out awesome. I love Final Fantasy X. Didn't care for Final Fantasy XI because it was online. So, I saw more gameplay of it, and I was like, oh man, this game, I don't like the battle system. It's not turn-based. It's like Final Fantasy XI with the freaking online battle stuff, and I never was a fan of that, and I hated it for that. And then I got it, I played it for a little bit, and I was like, no, no, this game, this ain't working for me. I can't play it. Nah, this ain't working for me. This is not the game I wanted. So, you know what? Be gone. And that was pretty much it for a long time. Probably years. And, ah, oh man. I hate that I cannot remember what game that came out that had a similar battle system. That it was pretty much you control one party member and the AI did the rest for the most part. I don't know what game it was. But I said to myself, hmm. If I could play this game and it has similar... Game, a similar gameplay style to Final Fantasy 12. Why can't I play Final Fantasy 12? What's the problem here? So then I said, fuck this. You know what? Let me hook up my PS2. Let me pop in Final Fantasy 12. And let me see if maybe I can play this game now. And that's pretty much what happened. I played Final Fantasy 12 and I loved it. Final Fantasy 12 is such a great game. And I think a lot of people take it, um, well, not take it for granted, I guess you could say, but um, they overlook it because they don't like the battle system. But this battle system has the most customizable battle system I have ever seen. I mean, seriously, you can make these characters to do literally whatever you want them to do. You can let them be a samurai, a uh, archer, uh, a gun, a gunman, a, a sword weirder. You know, you can make them to anything you want them to be. And oh man, I cannot wait to play this game again. But uh, one of the things I did not like about Final Fantasy XII was the story. And I praise Final Fantasy XII a lot because I'm a guy who likes gameplay over story any day of the week. Like, I, like um, gameplay greater than story in my eyes. So the story just, it was not there. I mean, I think the one thing that the story could have done right, and if they did it, it would have been great. It would have been a great game all around for me. Was that you need to have Balfir as the main character, and that would have been the game would have been awesome. Now Vaughn, Vaughn, he, he, I feel like he really doesn't have any place in the story. I can't remember, but Vaughn and Pinello, they're just there for no reason. It's like it's like Square Enix. It's like the creators, the writers was like, all right, we need a um, young protagonist in here that you know the target audience can relate to. Because Balfir, I think he's a little bit older. He's like maybe 20, 20, 23 or something like that. I can't remember. But he's not young. He's not young, young, you know? So it, it's like they had to have that young teenager in there just for hell of it. And I swear to God, the game focused around Balfir, Ash, and, oh, God, what's the other guy's name? I forgot the other guy's name. But it was pretty much their game. It was pretty much their story. 
and Vaughn, he was literally just there for the ride. It's like he, he he added almost nothing to the story. Now, don't quote me on that because I remember the story of Final Fantasy XII. To be honest, I didn't really pay attention to it for the most part. I just went from story sequence to gameplay sequence, from story sequence to gameplay sequence, and I just played the game, and I loved it. But the story, eh, less than to be desired. I'm pretty much, when I get Buffy on the party, I'm just going to main him the whole time, and that and that's really it. I'm going to pretend Vaughn isn't even there. I mean, I got nothing against Vaughn. Well, actually, I got a thing for the way he's dressed. What the fuck is that? He's like, he's got no shirt on, and he's got like a vest on. What, what, what is this, some type of magic mic guy? I, I don't know. But anyway, um, highly looking forward to this. Let, let's see what um new things are coming with this um HD remaster. So first off, it's called Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, and um, it's going to add the International Zodiac Job System, which adds the original Final Fantasy XII with the reconstructed game design, additional systems with the further system improvements, and current generation technology. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get what most of that means either. Anyway, so visual improvements, you got high definition graphics, high def high resolution upgrades for backgrounds, character models, and all the 2D parts, including fonts. Um, high resolution upgrades for movie scenes, uh, in introduction of current generation visual expression. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like, what does that mean? So sound improvements, you got uh, 7.1 surround sound support. Um, you got high quality voice support, of course. English and Japanese voices squished between them in the game configuration. You got yeah, guys, you guys, you guys happy? You Japanese purists out there? You guys, you guys must be ecstatic right now. Okay, calm the fuck down. All right, is <laughs> it? They, they put it in there. Calm down, guys. Okay. Okay, you got the original and newly re-recorded um background music. You could squish between them. Um, that's really good. Um, in Final Fantasy X's case, um, they went with some type of remastered music or something like that. And it just took away the spirit of the game. For me. For me. Other people, that you know, it was cool with them. But for me, it took away the spirit of the game. I know in the PS4 version, and I believe the PC version, um, that the option to stay with the original BGM is there. But I played it on the PS3 and the Vita. So I didn't get that experience when I replayed the game. Um, usability improvements, you got shorter load times, which it, there better be. Um, auto save functionality added. Oh wow, that's, that's really, that's really good. I mean, that'll save me some time when I'm like grinding or like if I get really far in the stage and then I end up dying and then oh, I can just auto save right, out, right outside the room. Kind of an easy, I guess easy option, but you know, whatever. Um, improve, improve speed mode and speed mode, um, operability what oh okay so you can move it faster wow that's that's really good that's gonna save a lot of time i i thank you for those hack screens good job good job so um yeah that's pretty much what they have for now it's gonna be playable at e3 so i'm i'm looking forward to that a lot um this e3 looks to be pretty lit that's all I gotta say for now. Sound off in the comments what you guys think about this. Were you looking forward to a Final Fantasy XII HD remaster? Are you looking forward to Crisis Core HD remaster? What else can they do? Can they do a Final Fantasy VIII HD remaster? No, that'd probably be a remake. Um, I guess Final Fantasy IX? No, that'd still be a remake. Either way, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.